Major Gamma, you have returned. V, I'm panicking. It's like it comes in waves. So your borings are still giving you refusal depths all over the board? I have so much information. I'm saturated, but I can't connect the dots. I have variable refusal depths, plus there's weathered rock in some areas and some holes, but not in others. So you want to get the maximum amount of information without having to drill every square foot of the site? Exactly, but how? Paint the whole picture, Gamma. I just don't get it, Fee. What's the angle? Seismic geophysical methods, Gamma. Seismic methods. Seismic geophysical methods constitute a family of technologies that include seismic refraction, multi-channel and spectral analysis of surface waves, MASW and SASW, full waveform inversion, and downhole and crosshole seismic testing. Seismic geophysical methods use propagation of energy to gather data about the subsurface. An impact or vibration source creates energy in the form of waves. Geophones record wave arrival. Seismic refraction, a surface method, allows for mapping of subsurface changes such as depth to bedrock and relative soil density. Crosshole seismic testing, a downhole method, uses a source and receiver in adjacent boreholes for direct in situ measurement of shear wave velocity. All seismic methods use similar principles to provide measurement of small strain soil properties and interpretation of stratigraphy. Seismic methods are particularly useful for identifying bedrock depth and topography, identifying water, and recording changes in rock properties, including weak or weathered zones. Measured shear wave velocities can be correlated with density, shear strength, and all sorts of other soil properties. What I've got so far is a mess. Every boring gives me a different depth at the top of rock, and I need to paint a better picture of the site without putting a boring on every square inch of it. Fortunately for you, I can give a more cohesive picture of the subsurface without drilling another hole. And it's a bit dramatic. Today we're going to be using seismic refraction. We'll generate compression in shear waves and measure their speed of travel through the subsurface. This is our impact source. You'll see it here in a minute as the equipment drops a large weight on the ground to send out waves into the subsurface. Geophones are laid out in a line to receive the waves as they return to the surface via seismic refraction. The geophones register the arrival of the compression and shear waves. Bedrock depth can be calculated from those measurements. Okay, here we go. Stand back over here and watch the magic. Hey, for those of us in the geotechnical exploration business, that's pretty dramatic. And now, our busy little geophones are receiving the refracted waves and transmitting them to the seismograph, which records the wave arrivals. I'm seeing a trend in these wavy lines. Is that my top of rock? This plot shows the arrival of the waves at each receiver. We can calculate the depth to rock in this area based on the slope of the arrival times. Data from multiple configurations of source and geophones can be integrated to create a model of the site, including the upper rock surface, relative weathering, water, and major density changes. What about the other methods I've heard about? MASW, crosshole, there's so many options. They're all based on the same general principle of calculating dynamic soil properties using wave travel time. Surface wave methods, known as MASW or SASW, use the frequencies of surface or Rayleigh waves and are great for interpreting properties in near surface soil layers. Downhole and crosshole methods use sources and receivers in drilled boreholes to measure compression and shear wave velocity directly. Now, let's review the benefits of seismic geophysical methods. Seismic geophysical methods use propagation of waves to gather data about the subsurface. The technique includes a family of technologies and analyses, including seismic refraction, multi-channel and spectral analysis of surface waves, and downhole and crosshole seismic testing. Seismic methods are versatile. They can be used to identify bedrock depth and topography, saturated sediments, and changes in rock and soil properties. Seismic methods also allow for rapid interpretation of soil properties and stratigraphy over large areas. 
When seismic methods are used early in an exploration program, additional exploratory activities can be streamlined, saving money and better defining project risk. Gamma, this solves your problem. You need to get the rest of your team on board with seismic geophysics and get moving. You just need one other person to believe in it. If there's two of you, it sends a signal. I get it now, Fee. We're on the same wavelength. The sheer velocity of data collection using this method makes it a no-brainer. We'll paint that picture in no time.